Hello everybody, I'm Yusuf Tahir. Welcome back to my channel, Knowledge Universe. Today I try uh, to continue my important series about Python for data science course, especially uh, Python and uh, the library Pandas. In the last video, I taught you how you can use data frame with uh, some uh, basic statistics. Today, the video is very important. In this uh, video, I try to explain how you can import uh, data from XML data structure to Pandas data frames. Welcome back to my channel, and I try now to start this important part four. Now let's start this uh, tutorial by uh, explaining and uh, creating an example of XML file. Um, XML file or XML data structure is a, a markup language to represent or to structure data. So uh, uh, XML data structure is based is uh, based on uh, elements and uh, uh, tags. So, for example, I create uh, an example of uh, element. Before I uh, save my file here by I give a name. For example, uh, the name is uh, uh, customers. Dot uh, XML. So this is. Uh, the name of my XML file. Now I create some uh, elements. For example, the element is uh, a customer name. So customer, uh, customer name. This is my first element. For example, the name of my customer is uh, Peter. And uh, I close. So now I add the some uh, sub elements uh, and uh, tags. For example, the first tags is uh, the name or, or excuse me email of the customer. Uh, for example, Peter uh, gmail.com. This is the first tag. Or the first sub element. The other uh, sub element is, uh, uh, for example, phone number phone or phone number. Uh, for example, zero six six uh, three five two two. Just an example, uh, and I close my uh, tag. Phone. So this is my first uh, element, uh, so I close here the first customer. Now I, uh, the same, I can uh, create some other uh, customers, just I uh, put a, a copy past to create another, for example here, the second is uh, Ali, and this, for example, here, Ali gmail.com, and here, for example, I change the name, uh, for example, for zero, and now I add the child customer, so this is my um, example of XML file, so XML file is based on some elements and each element um, based on some tags and or some sub elements. So this is my data structure with the XML. Uh, here, for example, the name is uh, Laila, for example, and uh, the name is Laila gmail.com and here for example 66241 this is just an example of a xml file now this is the name of my file is customers.xml now i try to write my uh, uh, python code how i can import this xml file to a pandas data frame 
è un auto import um, XML, our XML file to uh, data frame in uh, Python. I start by creating a new Python uh, file. So this is my new Python file. The name is data frame XML.p. So Python uh, provides a comprehensive XML package uh, which uh, provides different APIs to parse XML. Uh, in this tutorial, I use, uh, for example, element tree. So, uh, element tree here uh, is uh, an XML API, which is uh, a simple and uh, lightweight XML processor. So, what we need? We need to read and pass our uh, customer.xml file. We need just to call a parse method. So here I import my processor uh, elementary as uh, ET. Now I use the method parse to parse my XML file. So here I just give my name. Uh, uh, excuse me, the name of my XML file, the name is a customer, customers.xml. So, by using uh, the method uh, parse, uh, it's uh, very easy to read and uh, to parse uh, any XML file. Now, uh, after uh, parsing our um, file XML, we can get the root of my, uh, uh, my XML file. The root of my XML file here, for example, the root is my data, because here I start by the check my data and I close by my tag data. So the root of my uh, example or my XML example is my data. So to, to see this root, I can uh, print uh, parse.xml.git root. Now, uh, we can uh, use uh, iter method to generate or to iterate uh, our uh, elements for uh, specific XML elements. Or you can use uh, git root to get the root element for this tree and then iterate all elements. Uh, for example, here I use uh, uh, parsed XML get root. So uh, uh, here, for example, the result is, uh, uh, the result is, uh, um, is uh, the result of this line is uh, is my data because the root is my data now inside my data i can uh, iterate uh, all elements and all nodes so in order to get the name uh, attribute you, you we use the attribute get function so here because the the name of the element is uh, name so I use the I use the function attribute dot get, but when I need to um, the the text content of each element can be retrieved using the function find. So for example, the node email I use uh, to print or to use the, the node email I use node dot find email, and when I need to use uh, the node found, I use the function node find uh, found. For example, here, this is uh, my XML structure. This is the root, my data. This is customer is the element, uh, and I have two nodes. So if I need to use the, the name or to get the name of my root, I use uh, attribute dot get. And if I want to use the, the content here, Peter, Gmail, for email, and uh, the number found, I use uh, uh, the function find. So here, uh, node find to, you, to, to retrieve uh, the text content and uh, get root or uh, attribute dot get to uh, get the name of element. Let's uh, now uh, see the result of this, uh, this uh, uh, instructions. So when I execute my code, so this is the result. So here, this is my uh, root element. 
So because here I print this element, and now this is all uh, elements of my XML file. Uh, Peter is element, and uh, Gmail, uh, 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 excuse me, email and uh, phone number are uh, notes for Peter here and for Ari and for Leila. So this is. Um, the way or the method to iterate our XML file. Now uh, let's uh, finish this uh, uh, this uh, tutorial by uh, creating or by loading XML data to data frame or to a Python data frame. So to do that, I uh, start by uh, importing the library pandas uh, as a PD and I create uh, a data frame XML DF. This is the name of my data frame. And here I define the rows and the columns. So now my columns of my data frame are, so here, I create uh, the columns of my data frame, uh, they have uh, uh, calls, because hey, here the name of my columns is uh, they have calls, Donc, so here I, um, I uh, create a list of uh, names of columns, so the first uh, filter of first uh, uh, columns is the name, uh, after is the email, this is the name of my columns, and the last column is phone number. So here I define the columns of my data frame. Here I create my data frame, so I need to define my columns and uh, define the rows. The rows I can create the rows of my data frame in this loop. So here I, um, I use the function appends to add the or to, or to create, um, here I create a new list, uh, for example, rows. And uh, uh, when I iterate my, or my, or my, I parse my XML file, I add the rows here in this list. So uh, I uh, add the, the rows in this uh, uh, list. Now I have my rows and I have my uh, columns, and here I create my data frame. Now uh, let's uh, print our uh, data frame. So here I have my uh, data frame, and I use the classical uh, function print uh, to print uh, this uh, data frame. So now when I execute my code, so here this is my XML file after uh, parsing, and here my data frame. So um, uh, thank you for watching uh, this uh, video. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, to subscribe, and to comment uh, this uh, tutorial. Goodbye.